Uh, he has really served with distinction and not only a member of my executive protection team, but just a, a true advisor and a trusted advisor in that regard. Mayor Cantrell defends Officer Jeffrey Vappi as the internal investigation into his actions continues. Good evening, I'm Lee Zurich. And I'm Meg Gatto. Mayor LaToya Cantrell calls the investigation a witch hunt. This marks the first time we are hearing from the mayor since the audio recordings of the internal investigation into Officer Vappi were leaked. Natasha Robin has the story. Uh, my executive protection team, in which uh, Officer Vappi uh, has been one of them, uh, he has really served with distinction. Mayor LaToya Cantrell continues to defend one of her former security team members, NOPD officer Jeffrey Vappi, calling the Public Integrity Bureau's investigation into his actions a witch hunt. I think that the investigation uh, that has been ongoing is one that uh, we can stand by. I know initiated by uh, PIB, uh, one that has been thorough, uh, even one that I would classify uh, as a witch hunt. Raphael Goenecci of the Metropolitan Crime Commission says Cantrell did more than just comment on an open investigation. She's characterizing it as a witch hunt. And from some of the statements that were made that have been aired by your station, I think it's abundantly clear that there are potential administrative issues with this. I would think a police chief would be fired for doing such a thing, prejudging an investigation publicly. Mayor, did you listen or did anyone tell you what was on the recordings before they were leaked? Uh, no, I still haven't listened uh, to the recordings simply because I know, I, I know the facts, right? And so, and very much uh, stood tall uh, and very supportive of any investigations relative to my uh, executive protection team. So if she, is not familiar with what the actual uh, matters that were being investigated, then she shouldn't be characterizing it as a witch hunt. Do you have a key to the apartment, the portable? No. Goenecci wonders how she would have known the investigation was thorough if she hadn't listened to the audio recordings. So PIB investigative tapes were shared with the city attorney's office. What wasn't on that flash drive was the written report. So does that mean that the report wasn't written yet? So how could she know? How could anybody know that the investigation was a witch hunt or was very thorough? She couldn't have known that without inside information. Former NOPD police chief and Loyola professor Ronald Serpes says the mayor should not draw conclusions about an ongoing investigation. It's inappropriate for anyone to speak about an open internal affairs investigation that could or could not have criminal consequences, and this one could have criminal consequences. Secondly, uh, whether or not the mayor was interviewed, I think, is a crucial issue as well, because the officer, according to the tapes, continued to refer to him her as his supervisor. And any other in instructions would come from the boss, who is the mayor. Were you ever interviewed by PIB? I was never interviewed. The fact that her tapes aren't on this are of concern to me, and we still don't know if she was requested to give a statement and declined, or if PIB didn't make a request to speak with her, which would be another problem in my opinion. We asked the mayor about comments made by members of her executive protection team during the internal investigation, calling her relationship with Officer Vappi inappropriate and embarrassing. Based on comments that you mentioned, it's very clear uh, that there was no wrongdoing uh, relative to uh, any involvement uh, with Officer Vappi. Strictly professional, and we'll keep it that way. She also went on to defend Vappi's character. He has really served with distinction, and not only a member of my executive protection team, but just a, a true advisor and a trusted advisor in that regard. Now she continues to support his character when an investigation has not been closed. These are the kinds of things that cause cities and police departments to have uh, consent decrees. I mean, these are the kind of behaviors that are prejudicial to the investigation and prejudicial to the search for truth. Natasha Robin, Fox 8, Local First.